Hey, it's James Mulvaney here. Welcome to this video. I want to talk today about remote interviews, which you can conduct from anywhere. So you can interview a guest, even on the other side of the world, for your radio station, for your podcast, or even for a video. And I want to give you some advice and tips on how to prepare for a remote interview. All of that coming up in today's video. So first up, you need to find your guest. How do you go and find the best guests to interview for your podcast, for your radio show, or for a video like this one? Well, there's a few different ways you can do that. First of all, uh, one easy way is hit social media. And I've actually recorded a video with loads of advice on how to find different guests. I'll put a link on the video now if you want to find out a bunch of different ways. Using social media is a fantastic way to connect with guests, especially LinkedIn, I find, finding experts in specific fields. Perhaps you want to interview someone on something really specific. So for example, today I'm interviewing someone on team building and we're also talking about uh, working remotely as well, which is very important at the moment. Go and look for guests who have got that specific area of expertise that you're looking for. So, you know, figure out the credentials. Have they written a book on a subject? Perhaps they've created an online course. All of these are good indicators to show that this person's got some interesting things to say. They know what they're talking about and ultimately they're gonna be a great guest for your show. If you've not already seen it, matchmaker.fm is a platform where you can go and find guests who are already waiting to appear on your show. It makes it very straightforward to find the right guest because you can filter them by location, you can filter them by category, so you know exactly what their areas of expertise are. And you can also listen to examples of podcasts and watch videos that they've recorded in the past as well. So it makes it really easy to find really good high quality guests for your podcast. So go and check that out, it's matchmaker.fm and it's completely free to sign up as well. So the next thing that you need to do when you're preparing for a remote interview is clarify equipment. When I say clarify equipment, what do I mean by this? Well, if you're recording remotely, you wanna make sure that the person who you're interviewing has got access to a decent quality microphone or good quality HD camera, because this will make for a better end product. If you're recording a podcast, for example, and someone's sat in a big echoey room with you know, a built-in microphone on their laptop, it's not gonna sound as good as if they're in a quiet room with a decent USB microphone. So it's always worth checking to see what equipment the guest has got available. Again, if you're on Matchmaker, you can actually see this before you even contact someone. So you can make sure you're picking guests who've got access to decent quality equipment. Quality does make a big difference. Always remember QVCA, which is quality, value, consistency, and authenticity and authority as well. So make sure that you're pushing out your best quality content and ultimately making sure the guest has got good quality equipment will make all the difference. So now we've found our guest, we know they've got good quality equipment, it's time to actually make sure that they're prepared for the interview. The best way of doing this is actually send them a document in advance with questions that you're gonna be asking them. I also recommend trying to speak to them before the interview, if you can, because you can kind of get a feel for who they are, the pace they talk at, um, also answer any questions they might have. Try and give them as much as you can in advance and be prepared. Don't just expect them to come onto your podcast and know everything you're gonna be asking uh, if you've never spoken to them in the past. That's a terrible idea. So make sure that your guest is prepared and make sure you send them a pre-interview prep document. It makes all the difference. The guest will know exactly what they're getting themselves into. And ultimately as well, it will mean that they will prepare some better quality answers that are more geared towards your questions as well. So it's a win-win situation. So now we're ready to record. So on the day of the recording, make sure that you get the guest to turn up a little bit before you're due to start recording, especially if it's going out live. It's a good idea to speak to the guest before you actually start recording just to put them at ease make sure that they know everything that's going to be going on you can also test volume levels of their microphone maybe do a sample recording just to make sure everything is sounding tickety-boo very important and ultimately as well remember to press that record button very very important you know there's been situations before where I've been recording podcasts you know, and I forgot to save it afterwards. So try and be prepared as possible. It kind of helps to have some notes in front of you. I always find, even if it's down to remember to save at the end, um, just little pointers of things to mention throughout the interview. Don't feel like you have to script everything, but you know, make sure that you're on the same page as the guest. As I said before, send them a document beforehand, allow them to prepare for it, and make sure you're prepared yourself as well. So once you're done recording, make sure you say a big thank you to the guest as well. It's very important to remember that people's time is valuable and the fact they've given up an hour of their day to go and record an episode with you, you need to make sure you say thank you and it's a good point at this time as well to say okay once we've edited this episode once it's ready to go live we'd like you to share it on your channels because ultimately getting guests on board is great 
if you can get them to share it with their audiences as well, it helps spread the love, helps spread your message even further and really, really important to um, ask them about that at the time of recording, just so you're kind of planting the seed. So then in a few weeks after you've recorded or a couple of days or whatever it might be, your episode's ready to go live, they'll be on your side and they'll be helping you push your episode and getting it out there to as many people as possible. Ultimately as well, remember your guests will happily do this because they wanna push their voice out there as well. So once you're actually ready to go live, it's always advisable to send the episode before it goes out to your guests just for their approval. Very importantly, make sure that they're happy with the finished product before it actually goes out to an audience. Just to get their okay on it, and once you've got that, you're then ready to go live. Again, if you're prepared about this, you could do this in advance. It doesn't have to necessarily be a last minute thing. You edit your episode, you send it to the guest, they okay it, and at that point, you can clarify the schedule or the release date. Make sure you send them as many assets as you can. Perhaps you've created some images, perhaps you've created some video clips or audio clips from this. Tell them where the episode is going to be live. So if your podcast is on iTunes, maybe send them a link to that so that they can push that out on their social media. When the episode goes live, again, give them a nudge, politely ask them to promote the episode to their social media. As I said before, discuss this when you're doing the recording for sure, but then make sure you're actually following up with them once everything is ready to go out and make sure that they push it out to their audience and get as many people listening to your podcast as possible. So this episode was brought to you by matchmaker.fm. As I mentioned earlier, Matchmaker is a fantastic platform to find awesome guests for your podcast. There is a directory of thousands of people on there who are experts in any given area you can possibly imagine. Plus also you can submit your podcast there too. So if you're um, looking for guests to contact you, uh, it's a great platform to connect guests and podcasters. Go and check that out at matchmaker.fm. So thanks very much for watching this video. Hopefully that's been useful and give you some tips and tricks of how to book guests and make sure you're kind of managing their expectations. If you've got any additional tips, love to hear them. Please put them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, remember to leave me a thumbs up. It makes all the difference and I love creating videos like this for you. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, we're going to be posting lots more stuff around booking guests, how to record interviews and everything podcasting. Hey, before you go anywhere, I have a quick question for you. Do you have a podcast? And if you do, do you want to book more interesting, high profile guests on your show? Well, if you answered yes to either of these questions, I'd love to invite you to come and join our community over at matchmaker.fm. Matchmaker is a service that connects awesome podcasts just like yours with incredible and high profile guests that make for really interesting conversations. It's really straightforward to get started and completely free to sign up. Just connect using your LinkedIn, Facebook, or Google account, and then you can begin connecting with guests based on their area of expertise, location, and much more. If you haven't checked it out already, go to matchmaker.fm, get started. It's just like Tinder, but for podcasters.